Designed for simplicity and with just enough features for the long haul on the trail, the Osprey Vault 75 is a great option for those users who need versatility in their pack. Let's take a closer look. I'm gonna turn the pack around and take a look at the suspension system we've got going on. So Osprey's employing a really nice, highly adjustable suspension system with the Vault 75. We've got a light wire peripheral frame, so that gives it some structure, and an HD PE frame sheet, so that, again, gives you some protection for the back. We've got a mesh-covered Airscape back panel, and that's where we're gonna see the, the big thing with the Volt here. The adjustability that you get on this back panel is way different than anything on any other Osprey backpack. It is a one-size backpack, so you don't have to worry about sizing, and this back panel and the hip belt will adjust to a wide range to fit many different users. So it's a really easy adjustment system. There's just some Velcro back here that you've got to break and then you can move this back panel up and down depending on your torso size. And moving down to the mesh padded hip belt, we've got a similar functionality. There is a fit on the fly hip belt here and it's really simple to just break that Velcro and you can slide that hip belt to extend or get a little smaller for the user that's wearing the backpack. So you've got really wide range of adjustability with this suspension system, and it makes it really nice if multiple people are gonna be wearing the pack. Before I turn the pack around to show the main compartment, I do wanna point out some features on the suspension side here. We do have two zippered hip belt pockets, so nice small pockets for some essentials, snacks, a phone or keys if you need those. We do have a nice lid pocket at the top here, so you've got a sizable pocket in the top of the backpack, so you can store some maps or some things you wanna get to pretty quickly up there. It is a hydration compatible backpack. You see that little H2O logo right there, so you can use a hydration system with this pack as well. And on the shoulder strap here, we've got Osprey's Stow on the Go trekking pole attachment, so it makes it really easy to kinda just store your trekking poles within easy reach and you've got a gear loop down on the side to help accommodate that as well. Now I'm gonna turn the pack around again and show the main access points and some additional features. So this is a top loading pack. It's a pretty traditional top loading pack. So you've got two clips here that will unleash the hood and you've got a nice spin drift collar at the top. You can extend that if you need to. Um, really easy to cinch gear down, but it's nice. That lid is floating, so if you decide to overstuff the pack, you can kind of extend that hood up to cover everything. And you also have a nice mesh pocket on the underside of the hood as well. So a pretty nice additional feature to the hood. We do also have a lower sleeping bag compartment. So at the bottom of the pack, underneath the removable compression straps here, or the sleeping pad straps, we've got a nice zippered opening there. So you've got a nice sturdy bottom compartment for a sleeping bag, or there's a divider in there. So if you don't wanna use this as a sleeping bag compartment, you can kind of drop that divider and have one big, vast capacity pack. So really nice additional feature there. A few other features I'd like to call out. We do have some pockets on the exterior of the pack. We've got a large stretch mesh front pocket, so you can store some additional layers there if you choose to, or some other small items. We do have two stretch water bottle pockets on the side, and they're kind of neat. You've got actually two entry points for those. So you've got a top entry, so you can kind of put a water bottle in traditionally, or you've got an angled entry, so you can actually put your water bottle in at an angle, so it's easy to kind of reach behind you and pull out that water bottle to make it nice and accessible while you're on the move. So nice bonus to those water bottle pockets. We also have compression straps on both sides. You've got a top and bottom compression strap. So some additional benefit if you don't stuff the pack out completely, you can lash that gear down and really cinch it to make sure it's not moving around on you if you don't want it to. And back to the front one more time, we do have some tool loops at the bottom. Um, so you've got nice tool loops there for ice axes or trekking poles if you choose to store those on the front of the pack. Uh, we also have a couple gear loops on the front, so some lash points there, and daisy chain attachments on either side of that stretch mesh pocket. So again, you can lash gear pretty easily to the exterior of this pack. So there you have it. With ample capacity and all those trail-friendly features, the Osprey Volt 75 gives a broad range of adjustability for multiple users.